Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Railroads. In the last video, we finished off the Great Britain campaign. Now we're going to head from Great Britain to, across the channel to France. This scenario covers the majority of France and covers the time period 1842 to 1989. This scenario begins some 10 years after the world's earliest railways during the birth of the late blooming modern French rail system through the pioneering high-speed TGV. This is a scenario of average difficulty suitable for most players, like myself. Well, here's what we have objective-wise. Construct a line. By 1870, we have to do this. Construct a line that stretches from Marseille to Lyon up to Paris. Establish an early empire by buying a 10% minority share in your opponent's companies. By 1914, we will need to do our part to defend the country. Deliver 10 carloads each of troops to Paris and Orleans. And then Paris pushing its borders, grow nearby Orléans, into a city to support the mega metropolis. I think, um... It's here, here. It's one of these two. By 1945, we will need to build a purchase, an arms factory, to assist in the war effort. Help the country fight back by delivering 10 carloads of arms to Paris. Help citizens abroad, in, help keep citizens abroad in touch with home, ship 20 carloads of mail from both Paris and Orléans to Marseille on the coast. By 1989, we'll solidify our standing as France's greatest industrialist by attaining a net worth of 20 million francs. Remove the last obstacles in your path to complete domination of the French railroads. Eliminate all competition. And build camaraderie with your neighbors. Connect Madrid, Paris, and Bern. This is Switzerland. I think this is uh, Bern over here. Serve as a financier. Three players. Medium dip, uh, routing difficulty. Let's get into it. And as I am recording this video, I'm recording this on the 8th. It's going to be released on the 10th, I believe. Um, Transport Fever is coming out this week. So I'm going to try to get some Transport Fever recorded. That may come out on the weekend. We're starting off in Toulouse. And I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Because I'm trying to remember there are four starting locations, as always. This is the one you want. You want Dijon. You also have Nancy. But Paris is right here. And Orléans is here. You also have milk. This is a new one. We have dairy farms. Um, here, but I believe, yeah, Dijon is the one you really, really want to start at, because you just connect Lyon, and then you just go right down the hill to Marseille, you're connecting all three of them. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Thank you, boys. Anyone? No? Alright, so the, so you got a starting point up here for Nancy. Also, new in this one, we have grapes. Well, we had it in the California tutorial. And where is my last competitor? Where is Baron Rothschild? We got one here. And there's Madrid, there's Barcelona. I'm actually clicking and dragging along the map. Oh, Monaco, that's the last starting point. Uh, Bern is the Swiss capital. Oh, it's over here. So, pretty much anywhere but Toulouse is a good starting point, it looks like. Because I do have a weapons factory here, which is good. Also a food plant, but I have a lot of coal, none of which I can connect to. I can go to Marseille and then like wing up to Lyon and then straight into Paris, but that's an expensive venture to do. Very early on, it's I'm going to get killed. So I'm going to put a cut in here, I'm going to do a re-roll, and see what I come up with. Thousands of tears later. Okay, Jesus. This took 11 rolls to get. I ended up in Nancy, I ended up in Monaco a few times, Toulouse, I ended up over here. I'm not, I'm not hooking that town up. But I do have an arms factory in the city, which is good. Um, I have a steel... Let's see, I've got a, a steel mill here. And there's also... There's also a steel mill here. That's... Ooh. Actually, Nancy would be a good starting point because there's coal supply here, steel supply here, and war factory here. There's a food farm. That's actually good because that'll help us grow very, very quickly. I go Dijon to Lyon, and from here there's no dairies. There's no dairy farms anywhere near this. This is bad. Uh, Marseille, I got a hospital, and uh, looks like Toulouse produces chemicals. That's good. And I have one winery up here. Wow. This is going to be heavy on the production of... Uh, well, apparently anything is going to help us at this point. And I got a starter in Monaco. Damn. I was kind of hoping that we'd get a starter out here in Spain. We're going to be playing in cramped quarters for this one. Let's go ahead and just hook up these two cities and start getting some trains going. Mm. Go ahead. 
ahead and Okay. <clears throat> just doing a four two zero, just starting to get some uh some cargo going and that's it. Alright. So widen all that up. Yeah, I've got no money right now. So I'm also gonna keep it on a lower speed right now. I'm pretty sure I've fixed all my problems. Oh, I have a textile? Textiles in France. Yeah, I need to buy out Baron Rothschild first. Because if I can buy him out, I can kind of hook my railroad network up to Nancy, go to Bern, and just have a line between these three communities, taking essentially coal down to here, up to here, back to Paris, offload. We're fine. We'd be just perfect at that point. They need milk, and they're over here, so I do need to connect to them as well, and there is milk nearby. I can make that work. But I'm going to hook it through Paris first. Do this just to get myself into Paris. Already got that one done up. Okay. Figure out where this is going. So he's going here, and he's already got it set up for double tracking. I can go Paris down to here, and then hook up a lot of milk. So I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna. Ooh. I need to buy this one. As soon as I got some, as soon as I get a little bit of cash on hand, I'm gonna be making some moves. All right. Go ahead and let's double track this now before I forget. Go to my victory screen while I'm doing this here. So 10 carloads of passengers to Paris and Orléans. Um, grow that into a mega metropolis. War factory. Arms. Mail from Paris to Marseille. I can start working this actually really quick. What was that? Paris, Marseille, Orléans, Marseille. Yeah. Yep. So I just got to start moving people to these cities. Do that here. I don't want to go lower than 40%. There we go. I can work that. And I could just go ahead and hook down here if I want to get some fast grain, which I probably will, mind you. Uh, they're moving the coal to the steel mill. Wow, everybody's fighting over here. This is okay. If they're going if they're doing their own thing over here. That's okay, because I'm not producing a lot in this area that they want. How much are you producing here? Six and four? Okay. I'm going to fiddle with this a little bit. And go to there, then to here. Um, there's a little bit of a method on this one. Okay, I just gotta remember what the hell I'm doing here. Okay, you know what, no, no, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna just wipe this out completely. It'd be faster if I just do it like this. Two here. 
clear it. Four trains here, go here, clear it. Here. This makes absolutely no sense. Maybe for you right now. Trust me. So I got one of my facts. So I got who I got down here. I got Charles de Gaulle off near Toulouse doing his thing. He's fine. I'm not worried about him right now. I'm actually just going to do... Oh, damn it. I don't have the money for it. I want to actually do a double track from Dijon to Lyon. And I'm going to go for the grain farm. Actually, no. I need to hook up this first. Four, four, eight. Good. Is this producing steel? No, it's not. Interesting. Where's the steel going from here? Hmm. No idea where that steel is going yet, but I'll figure it out. And I also want to build like a spur line. Whoops. Whoops, how do I undo that? Oh my god. Wow, everything just went uh, wonky on that. My bad. Now, Charles de Gaulle, I could buy out pretty quick. Okay. Annex, Annex. Depot, sweetness. There we go. All right. I'm also gonna buy the fromagerie. And I can start moving food between Paris and Orléans. As soon as they start buying India, though, gotta start worrying. Hopefully, um, they're not realizing what I'm, the moves I'm making. Charles Gaulle is right for a takeover now, mind you. Okay. So now we're doing the troops to Paris thing here. Yes. Okay, Chucky. There we go. Back down, Charles. You. Very quickly, just get a little bit of uh, stock pulled up. Ooh, we have a new passenger train. I'll go ahead and upgrade this to the Peter Frampton. Oh, it's Crampton, sorry. I've heard it both ways. And this is actually working toward the victory stuff. So I got to move five carloads of passengers to Paris. I got to move 20 loads of uh, mail down here. And then buying the minority stake. That's pretty, that's going to be pretty straightforward. Because these two are super easy to buy. And Napoleon's the tough one right now. Because he hasn't sold much of his stock off. These guys have sold everything. And I'm thinking I need to buy this war factory too. If I can get that, all the better. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and just hook down here. Now this one's gonna be a little different. I'll do five here, clear this. This is more to increase the revenue I've got coming in. I'll go ahead and buy this food plant. It's at 84,000 francs. So I'll go ahead and uh, select that.
Nobody can test me on it. I can start pulling in more cash that much faster. Alright, got it. Um, I'll buy a, a stock into Baron Rothschilds. He's actually giving me my first target. And then Napoleon very quickly after that. Mayor of San Sebastian. He is way down here on the coast. Luckily, this is a good spot to connect up if you want to do a coastal run. You can kind of go through Bordeaux and just work your way down the coast. Haven't done it by train yet. Uh, I'm actually hoping to do that in the next few years to me and my wife. Okay. So Orleans has food available. I'm just going to do it like this. And then once um, I can start moving uh, passengers between the two, I'm just going to do a passenger run between Paris and Orleans. Or, or, it's Orleans. I'm not, not sure the pronunciation on it. I feel like I'm butchering it every time I utter the word. So forgive me, please. If you are from France or speak French, I apologize now. Let's go ahead and go into that minority. Ooh, the 240 Medoc. Almost there. This guy's actually doing really good doing nothing else. Um, here, though, I'm going to upgrade. I want to upgrade that into a terminal as quick as possible to increase the unload speed of stuff. Here we go. Pretty straightforward. Now we've got everything done. Now we have to go 10 carloads of passengers to Orleon and grow the city. We need to own a war factory and then start moving weapons to Paris. I can do that from Nancy, actually. Pretty easy. Um, let's do a, let's double up the track in here when I get some money. There's some money. I actually cannot connect to Nancy right now. Kind of a pain in the ass. Let's see if I can uh, drop a depot down here. I'm not close enough to the city, so Baron Rothschild must go. All right, sweet. I can now move passengers here. This is really helpful. And I can start moving passengers between the two cities. Makes it so much easier, so much faster. I'm going to upgrade you to this guy. Passenger delivery bonus, please. I've got so much money, I'm going to start buying out the competition while I'm having an argument with you. Oh, which, what kind of fresh hell is this? Oh, Baron Rothschild's now connecting to Lyon? Oh, now I'm angry. Because now he's taking all my passenger cargo out of this. He's going to hook into Dijon soon. I'm okay with that. Yeah, this is just ugly, and I hate it, and I must destroy him. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Alright, so we got the passengers done soon. We're going to grow the city. War factories next. Arms to Paris. Arloads of mail from Orléans to Paris. I've got to connect Madrid and Bern, which I'm going to connect here in a moment. Uh, I'm actually going to hold off on this for a moment. Now I'm going to go for it. I need the war factory in Nancy. And I'm also going to buy the steel mill and burn. So they can feel the burn. No, Napoleon's actually bought up some of his stock, so now it's worth a hell of a lot more. That was the rail, um... Those are the rail things. Absolutely not. You're not getting that damn building from me. The Baron Rothschild is selling stuff. Geneva is making a ton of medicine. Is there a chemical plant? Who needs medicine? Ooh, I have a hospital in Marseille that could benefit from that. 
Ooh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Keep buying up Baron Rothschild, because this is annoying me. Alright, gonna let the game play a little bit. Gotta get building it up. Oh, what the hell? Who the Ugh, Baron, you bitch. So now he's gonna start nicking milk from me. I'm actually gonna go for Napoleon stock now. Because his stock is a hell of a lot more valuable at the moment. I mean, I could easily just burn through everything. Just go through Rothschild and just roll it into Gaul, roll it into Napoleon. I think right now, though, because his stock is worth a lot more, it's going to be a smarter play for me in the long run to actually have a foothold in his company. Oh, wow. So it's now a city. means wine and textiles. I have wine here, but only Marseille is producing wine. I could build uh, those things. So look at everything I've already got done. I'm not even through the first episode yet. I'm about 20 minutes in right now. So I gotta move 10 carloads of arms to Paris. Oh, what do we got here? Yes. Uh huh. So Rothschild is going for, or no, Napoleon's going for Rothschild now. Nobody's going for me right now, which I'm kind of sad about. And now, that's sorry, that's why Napoleon has a crap load of money coming in from the weapons. He's moving. Oh, damn it. I may, I almost want to pull off this to go onto here. I'm going to back off onto Gaul for a moment. I think Napoleon is a big threat at the moment. If he can buy one more of the Rothschild stuff... I'll actually start backing down there. Uh, I was actually trying to pause the video here. I got a phone call I don't have to deal with, but I'll make the call as soon as I get done with this video. You hook in yet? Damn. At least I'm getting some money out of this stuff. Oh, um, milk demand jumping. So, milk is 17,000 francs right now. It's going to quickly climb, but note, arms is 50,000. That's what Napoleon's rolling with right now. And that's also why he's worth about as much as me. Alright, it's going to take me 10 million francs to buy him out. I'm going to need something in the meantime. I got steel being produced in burn. I don't have access to the coal. Can I even get close to the city? Not even close. Nope. I can't even get near it. I also don't want to be pulling from that. The next step for me is to start moving arms. Not moving arms, moving mail. There we go. Okay. This train, which is doing the Marseille to Paris run. Ugh, God, I gotta fix this all again. Do it like that. All right, Charles de Gaulle is now making a move on me. I'm okay with that. He's gentle. All right, so Baron Rothschild and Napoleon. He's gonna have a little bit of problems. Napoleon is making way too much money right now. This one's moving. I think this one's starting to spiral out of control for me, folks.
I'm not building bridges, so I'm gonna let that one go. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Toulouse has chemicals. I have a hospital. No, this is a, like, super slow run. He's gonna make me pay for it. Ooh, that's a nice new train. Okay, steel prices are just tanking right now. That's good. Okay, good. Here to here. It's a bad train for that, but at the same time, I'm gonna buy the chemical plant here. I don't have enough money for the chemical plant. Since nitrates are being produced here, I can utilize it. And weapons are being produced. God, everyone's moving guns but me. And I think this is why I'm losing right now. Because I can't get access to this one. Okay. Alright, I'm going to retreat off of uh, this. Buy the chemical plant. That was a quick reply. Where's their arms? Okay. Nantes is building weapons. I can hook in. I can't hook in. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. It's over here. Perfect. Alright. I'm going to go for Charles de Gaulle now. Because I can probably merge his stuff with mine. I'm not happy with the organization of it, but a lot of his stuff plays towards what I have. Plus, it's not going to take much to connect everything up. We'll be okay on that front. This is place is producing a ton of food, mind you. Okay. You... Do I have money for the stock? Damn. The stock just went up big time. Alright, so Baron Rothschild is done. There's no way he's gonna come back from a De Gaulle buyout. Or a Napoleonic buyout. Me... I ain't doing so hot. Um, Napoleon is pulling away from me right now. I do not have 10 million francs to buy or to purchase his stuff. And I honestly need to get to the max on Charles de Gaulle before he gets to the max on me. Everything just happened really fast there. Come on, give me one more, damn it. And somebody hooked into Paris. Rothschild is going to become a Napoleon line very soon. I am producing food, but I'm not going to go I'm super invest in it. Breast needs coals. Look at, look at the coal is. Here, here, and here. We're way up here on the tip of France. Nobody's going for that one. Yeah, Napoleon won that one. Not great for me. I am the worried. Without access to arms, I'm in trouble. Because it's it is producing so much money for everybody. Even my medicine pull down isn't doing a lot. But if we go into it. Who's producing arms? I can't, even though I have access to it. Nantes has access to it. And so does this one. I just can't hook into this damn city.
Okay. All right, so we got that one done. Now we just gotta move 10 carloads of weapons to Paris and connect Madrid and burn. That's it. All right, Nagal bought more of my stock. That's good. That means it's gonna be worth more and I start to sell it and start to draw him in. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna merge uh, his operation with mine. It's an ugly operation, but I'm gonna do it anyway. He's out. Baron Rothschild is the finished. But now it's... Damn, I thought I had... I, just for a second, I thought, like, yes, I'm going to be able to make my move. Can't yet. Come on, you're almost there. All right. I am probably going to put a break in here in just a moment. All right, now I'm going to put a break in here. Um, so now I've bought up all the shares I can of Charles de Gaulle. My plan is, the next episode, buy out de Gaulle. Uh, that's probably going to happen about 10 minutes into the next episode, I think. And then, turn around, go into Napoleon. And just go at him. I've got a lot of Metropolises here, but he also doesn't have any of my shares. If he buys this last little bit of stock, I can use that against him. But for now, like I said, I'll put a break in here. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of Transit Tuesday. And note, eventually, I'm going to start transitioning and we'll... Ooh, wait. Is this mine? I want that, actually. Okay. After this auction. Then I'll say my goodbyes. Alright. I'll see you all in the next episode, folks.